are Hamas to blame? If we look at it from an international law perspective, we're talking about 1967, we're talking about a resolution, security resolution 242, in which it is actually stated that um, Israel is in a belligerent state because they're occupying the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza. And they have been, so therefore the war has been continual for a very long time according to international law. But let's remove Hamas from the situation altogether. Let's remove them. What do you have? You have the West Bank. And what do you have in the West Bank? You have 187 children who have been put in prisons. They have been put in prisons, according to Bet Salam, without charge. You have 44 children before October the 7th that have been killed before October the 7th. It's in just 2023 alone. So if you remove Hamas from the equation, what you have, you have the West Bank. You, you remove dominance from the equation, you have the West Bank. And what do you have? You have occupation, you have settlement, which you respond. Resolution 242 in the UN doesn't mention a single thing about aggre aggression or aggressor. That is a total fabrication. And it speaks about disputed territories. Islam is about fair treatment of prisoners of war. Okay. Hamas beheaded Thai non-Jewish workers. You asked in your last appearance here for real uh, first-hand sources. I'm the first-hand source. I saw it in Kibbutz Alumim. They raped women. They had sex with dead women's okay. bodies. They are evil and up, do the okay. right thing and call up, them up, evil. Up, up, up. Do you think the idea for a terrorist organization? No. You don't think that a terrorist organization? Know. Okay, well, if you look at the UN definition of terrorist organization, they say killing civilians for political... The oh, definition, sorry, sorry. The, according to the UN definition, is killing civilians for political objectives. Mm -hmm. Why are they not terrorist organizations? Well, it's, it, well, you've asked me a straight question. I don't yes. think they are a terror organization. So when you see babies like this, the ones, who kill, the ones who kill babies like this are not terrorists. It's horrific. So the people can who I, kill babies I, like this are not terrorists. Well, let me, let me respond. <laughs> yes. Let me respond. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll both, it's not your turn. You can both get into this. Here's my response to that. And I've thought carefully about this. I've been very honest about my own feelings. I have a real moral quandary about this because as a father, I, I hate these scenes of kids being killed in Gaza. It's horrific, right? We all know it's horrific. But are there a terrorist organisation, well, though? I'm, I'm about to explain to you what I think my position is. My position is after what happened on October the 7th, it was so barbaric, so disgusting... So you can kill children? Well, no, what you can do... That's exactly what terrorists say, by the way. Let me, let me the answer your this question. Is, this is not a exactly This, is, this is someone else on. becoming the host you of can, the show you can put it down. and now interviewing please, you. Please, I, th I you're thought we were being interviewed. Right, you're going to have your chance. Mohamed, you and I are being interviewed. You're not here to interview him. You're going to have your chance. Mohamed, you can put it down. Don't make him lose control of his own show. You do this all the time. It will not... I'm not going to let it happen tonight. All right, rubbish it. Let me ask Please have respect for the... No, no, no. Stop interviewing the interviewer and be respectful. And be respectful. Let me respond. Tell me, sorry, is it a terrorist organization or not? No. Why not? I do not believe so. They kill civilians for political objectives. You have to let me answer. Go ahead.